A must experience event since 1998, the celebration of our nation's independence is in Haines City. With the 4th of July just around the corner, the largest firework display in the county, food, live entertainment, children's activities, and much more are just a few of the things on the schedule. The event, the venue, and the details on all the fun are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Lauren Lingell. Joining me in studio, we have Ryan Ritchie, the director of, Deputy Director of Parks and Recreation for Haines City. Welcome, Ryan. Thank you for having us. And um, Lindsaya Joannsmeyer, who is the special events mm -hmm. supervisor, supervisor mm -hmm. for um, the city of Haines City. Yeah. So, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. So we have an exciting event to talk about today. Um, one that's been around for... 21 years. 21 years? <laughs> um, Thunder on the Ridge. So I'm told this is the largest firework display in Polk County. Absolutely. We, we, uh, we feel very strongly about this being the, the largest display of, of fireworks in Polk County. and. Uh, as you said, 21 years and running for Thunder on the Ridge in the city of Haines City, and we're certainly excited to uh, to have everybody out for a great day of fun. And it's a wonderful family-friendly event to come out and celebrate our nation's independence. Yeah, I think one of the I would say one of the greatest things about the event is that it's free, and and the second being a family fun environment for everyone to come out and enjoy uh, our marketplace vendors. We have a lot of great food vendors and children's activities, uh, live entertainment. Obviously, we got some, some great uh, bands lined up for that and a, and a wonderful headliner we'll talk about later. But um, And then at, to uh, kick off the, I guess, end the night uh, would be the largest fireworks display in Polk County. And it's, like I said, it's been going on for a long time and we're continuing that tradition. And so the the venue or the setup for this event is on Lake Eva, is that sure. correct? Yeah, so it's it's at our um, Lake Eva Park, which is in, uh, in Haines City, obviously, right on the shores of Lake Eva, where we do Iron Man, um, if you had a, haven't had a chance to come out during Iron Man. But it's right there in our great lawn, and, and uh, you know, we just have a wonderful venue out there. I, uh, you know, I've been on the show many times, and I always say it's, uh, the flagship venue in Polk County, I think. I think any municipality would love to have a venue that we have out in Haines City, and um, it's definitely um, an advantage for us. I mean, to have a venue like that where you can fit um, 10,000 people from your wow. community to come in and, and just, uh, you know, it's up to us to provide a, a great event for the community. So it's, it's, it's our, our crown jewel for sure. I love that you just event dropped with with Iron Man because you know not many cities can say that. And so I really I really enjoy that, especially being a fan of of the triathlon myself. Yeah, well we're we're excited that um, you know I'm not sure if you heard, but but last year we were uh, given the opportunity to host the actual Iron Man Florida, which is the full triathlon. Um, Hurricane Michael came through and devastated Panama City Beach, where they host Iron Man Florida and. Um, Three weeks before the event, I get calls from Ironman representatives. They're in Kona, Hawaii at their world championships, oh, and they said, uh, we need to move the event, and there's one place that we think we can pull it off, and it's Haines City, Florida. So it was a, a team effort. Um, city staff, uh, Polk County Sports Marketing, volunteers. Polk County Sheriffs, volunteers, every police law enforcement agency you can think of in the area was involved and I just I get chills talking about it It was the greatest thing that's ever happened in my career and uh, it, it was uh, you know it was a pretty cool opportunity well, so certainly um, a jewel in the Polk County crown yeah for sure. absolutely we, so we were very pleased that that was something that we could we could add absolutely to our history mm -hmm. um, so back to Thunder on the Ridge okay so we've got the 4th of July coming up that shouldn't be hard to remember. It's the fourth day in July. <laughs> um, what kind of what kind of food and 
paint the picture for me. Sure. So we have um, all types of vendors from ice cream vendors to the um, fried, deep fried Oreos oh, to barbecue, wow. any type of food that you can imagine, it will be out there. Um, we also have marketplace vendors, which people do homemade soaps and um, crafts and purses and things like that. So a lot of um, you know local vendors will be out there as well. Um, and then we'll also have children activities, bounce houses and things like that for them to participate in as well. So, so plenty of things to do for the whole family to stay engaged while we're waiting for that Absolutely. fantastic firework yeah. display. Yeah. So. Well, perfect. And it, it's free, so you can't really beat that. Mm -hmm. Um, so how, how do you put an event this large on? Um, that's probably a question for Lindsay, because <laughs> she's, she's kind of the, the heart and soul and, and the one who puts, puts everything into it. So I'll let her kind of. So a big part of our event is sponsors, um, which we would like to thank Miracle Toyota as well as Balmoral Resort, um, both in Hang City, uh, for um, helping be partners of our events um, with the city. And uh, so, you know, all of our sponsors are a, a huge part of our event and, you know, we couldn't do it without them. Um, but also, you know, it takes, it's a lot of months of planning and, you know, uh, building relationships and also all of the city staff and, and support from, you know, the top to the, you know, the bottom. So we really appreciate all of our, our staff's help and Every, all hands on deck. Yeah, so. it's definitely a team effort. I mean, when I talked about you know the situation with Iron Man, it really is from from our park staff, mm -hmm. um, you know, the janitorial staff, cleaning bathrooms, uh, the police department, the fire department. I mean, it, it is it is you know I have I have two staff members in in my in the special events department, and and it's Lindsay and Bryce Trafford. Um, it just isn't us that puts it on. I mean, it, it really is a, a team effort. And, and, you know, when I talk about the top, I talk about, you know, our, our, our city manager, Derek C. Feacher, and, and um, the city administration, the city commission, um, Mayor Morris West. Without the support from them, um, we certainly couldn't put on an event like this. And our sponsors play a big role in terms of funding some of the things that we do in our live entertainment, obviously, is a is a big expenditure for us but um, it, it's definitely you have to do those things uh, to create an environment that um, you know that, that families can come to and, and know that they're in a safe environment and and that it's going to be a great time for them so it's it's definitely you know we're, we're excited we can't wait for it absolutely and yeah. I would imagine that there would be an opportunity for volunteers especially with this magnitude of an event yeah, and, and, and you know, again, with Iron Man, it, it, we certainly we wouldn't have been able to do the event without our volunteers. So, um, obviously, you know, if if anybody is interested in volunteering for the event, um, we're certainly more than happy to have someone there, and they can you know yeah. get a hold of Lindsay, and and we'll be more than happy to have them there for yeah. sure. Awesome. So you mentioned live entertainment. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like you've got something up your sleeve, like somebody <laughs> local gone Nashville. Yeah, so, so go ahead. So uh, to start off, uh, we will have a local band um, almost there. And um, they've done a lot of really big things and have continued to grow. Um, so we're really excited to have them start the show. Um, we will also have Synergy, who is a um, band out of Orlando, um, a big big events band um, who does a lot of weddings and things like that. Um, and then we will also have Miss Bailey Callahan um, who will be kicking off, I'm sorry, ending, ending the night um, with a big show. She'll start around 7.30 mm -hmm. um, and then we'll play all the way up until fireworks time. So, And, and Bailey Callahan is a name. Yeah, you, you kind of have, it's when you're planning events, you have to build some sort of credibility. And right. when you have uh, an individual like Bailey Callahan, who was born and raised Florida, um, you know, and I've had the opportunity to talk to her a few times on the phone, and she's an absolute sweetheart, and she remembers where she came from. I believe she was born in Winter Park. Um, she now has gone big. She lives in Nashville now. Um, currently opening up for Jason Aldean and Luke Bryan, um, so she's 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 uh, doing very well for herself, and we're excited that um, that she's excited to come to Haines City and and perform at Thunder on the Ridge. So it'll be uh, it'll be a good time. 
Well, I mean, I feel like if you, if you got to come back to your home state, Thunder on the Ridge, a really great place to be on stage. Yeah, so. yeah. And when I spoke to her, she she certainly is well aware of Haines City and the mm -hmm. events that we host there. And you know, when I initially was talking to her, she she knew exactly what what events we did, and she knew about Thunder on the Ridge and. She's very, very excited about performing. You've got to appreciate that, the professional oh, yeah. inner, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. and she's 19 years old, and just, she's uh, incredible that she's almost managing herself and, um, you know, doesn't really have anybody else doing it for her and just very professional, and um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to have um, Bailey in town and, and uh you know, like for Ribs on the Ridge, we hosted Craig Campbell and uh, another Nashville guy that's that's doing very well now. So we, we do it all in Haines City. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm beginning to see. So, I mean, I need to be moving. Like, yeah. <laughs> Come on over. Um, well, that sounds like a, a very robust and, and full evening of fun. So uh, hopefully we can get help get some people out there and get the word out that this exists and they should really know already. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, no, we, we, I mean, again, we appreciate um, the opportunity to come on and PGTV has always been a, a partner of ours with the city of Haines City and, um, you know, to your staff and, and everybody else, we appreciate what PGTV does, does for us, so. Well, thank you very much. I know, um, I speak for the staff, we really enjoy having you in studio and, and it, we're excited for the things that, that you've got going on in Haines City and, and Polk County is proud of Payne City. So. Yeah, very cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you both for being mm -hmm. here. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Haines City invites you to Thunder on the Ridge, Haines City's signature event. Join them for their 4th of July celebration from 3 to 9.15 p.m. at Lake Eva Park, 555 Ledwith Avenue. The cost is free. The largest firework display in the county, food, live entertainment, children's activities is, are just a few things on the schedule. Be sure to bring your family out for a day that you don't want to miss. For more information, you can check them out on the web at www.thunderontheridge.com or give them a call at 863-421-3700.